Influential Literature Thursday. Now that's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, anyone who knows me knows I have a bit of a short attention span. So I'm kind of more of a YouTube kind of guy than a books person. So my example here of something that's influential is uh, is actually a video, surprisingly. Um, now, just to set the tone, I am not necessarily a Casey Neistat fanboy, but although I do find his videos entertaining. This one in particular I'm talking about Do What You Can't. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I've got a link in the in the description. If I were to write an autobiography, a book about my life, one title that would work would be Do What You Can't, because that idea encapsulates everything I've ever done. It's a great video, and there's also a second video that he says, um, he talks about becoming a filmmaker, and he says, you just start. Now, I love that because it kind of encapsulates just everything about getting moving, getting started, getting rolling. Now, the Do What You Can't video is obviously not literally applicable to a corporate and enterprise level businesses, but what I see happen so often in a, in a big business, particularly the bigger it gets, is, is people say, well, we can't do that because you know it, we don't have permission to do that. They obviously don't put it in those words, but basically they have a, a permission problem. Uh, they can't start something because they might get in trouble uh, or it's simply too big you know I just we, we can't do that that's just you'll, that'll never get off the ground right this is all one of those things where maybe it could if you just get it started like if you just try give it a go see what happens you know I think what happens with people in in corporate businesses they kind of feel as though they can't they have a permission problem or it's just a size problem but often the things that do get off the ground, the people go, oh wow, I never thought we could do that, are the things that someone just started. Like someone just got in there and gave it a go. You know, and that's why I love these videos, because every time I kind of feel like something's too big or, or I'm never gonna get that off the ground, I always go back and watch that video just to kind of go, no, you know what? We can just get it started, just try. Let's, you know, that's the whole point of Agile, is that you're picking up something, starting with an MVP, and, and just getting it moving to see whether it works, see whether it's possible. You don't know if it's possible unless you try it, do you? So anyway, that's uh, my influential video um, Thursday. Kind of doesn't turn out a great video. I'll link them in the description. Oh, put in the comments, what's your favorite video? Do you have a favorite that you want to share? You know, tell us about it. Um, give us a like, all that sort of stuff. Uh, tomorrow is my final weekly video, uh, Feel the Love Friday. Um, which is kind of ironic because today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Uh, anyway, catch you later. See ya. Bye.